Hello, this is Austin from DoomBuggyWarehouse.com. Today's tech tip is on distributors. Specifically, we want to talk about electronic ignition distributors. Now, if you're looking at your engine and you're not sure what you have, the first thing to look at before you take anything apart is the wires on your distributors. If your distributor has a green wire with a small condenser on the side, then it's got points in it. If your distributor has a red wire and a black wire coming out of it, then it's going to have electronic ignition in it. I'm holding a distributor with points in it and it's a mechanical assembly that tells the distributor when to fire based on when this cam lobe opens these points. Now factory gap is 16 thousandths for points and it can be adjusted through the Phillips head screw that's on the base plate of the distributor. In comparison an electronic ignition distributor uses a magnetic pickup known as a Hall effect sensor. As the distributor spins, the sensor picks up each magnet and tells the distributor when to fire. As you can see, no mechanical connection, which means there's no maintenance required. Whenever the topic of electronic ignitions come up in the shop here, there's always a give and take. Uh, some people prefer traditional points, some people prefer electronic ignitions, some people say electronic ignitions have let them down. There's all kinds of different things that come into play. I want to tell you that no matter which way you go, they're both good choices. My personal preference is electronic ignitions, but I'm definitely not against points. They've been proven for years and years and years. Most of the engines we send out of here do have electronic ignition on them purely because they require less maintenance for the customer and also less adjustment. They're also much easier to set up as long as you have a few things correct. And that's what I want to talk about. You always need to remember when you buy an electronic ignition, before you turn the key and power it on, you need to check the resistance of your coil or make sure that you know what the resistance of your coil is. To check the resistance of your coil, set your voltmeter to 200 ohms then take the positive and negative leads and touch them to the two terminals on the coil. If your coil has more than three ohms of resistance, it will work perfectly with an electronic ignition. Other issues that can crop up. Charging issues. Sometimes if your alternator is putting out too much voltage, it will fry this unit. Also if there's a short in your wiring harness, it can fry this unit. Another thing that can happen is that there can be a short on the coil which diverts power from the electronic ignition. And that won't kill it, but you won't get any spark. Finally, if you hook this up backwards, it will fry. Again, the most important thing though, check your coil, make sure it matches that 3 ohms or greater resistance, you should be in the clear. Thanks for watching. Check out our YouTube channel for the different styles of electronic ignition units you can install in your distributor.